I have this unfinished wooden cutting board that has a handle. You can use any cutting board of your choice. I believe I got this one from Walmart. And I'm going to start by staining the entire thing using my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. I'm applying it with a paintbrush, but I also like the Gen Foam Brushes. And once it's fully covered, I'm then taking a napkin or a paper towel and rubbing the gel stain in. Now my cutting board measures 17 inches by 10 inches wide. I'm going to allow that to dry and then I have a spray bottle with water that I'm going to just lightly add water to my project. And then I'm going to take some Wise Owl black paint and continue to water that down. And I'm just going to add a little bit of black on top of the brown stain. And this is a totally an optional step. And then I'm going to wipe that with a baby wipe. And I feel like it kind of gave it a little bit of a gray tone. I have this metal ribbon. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. You can also get some from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut two pieces at four and a half inches. I'm going to go about six inches down from the top of my board. And I'm going to place my first metal strip. And once I have it placed nice and even, I'm going to take some small nails and just nail that down. And you want to make sure the head of the nail is bigger than the opening in the ribbon. And this is going to hold that on the board nicely. I took my second piece of metal ribbon that I cut and I placed that about six inches below the first metal strip and I nailed that in place as well. Again, I'm just using two small nails on both the left and right side. I then have these white screw eye hooks. You could find them at the hardware store and I'm going to place three across the bottom starting at one inch in from the right side, one inch in from the left side, and then I'll place one in the center of that. And I'm just using the tip of the screw on the hook to mark where I want to place, and then I take my drill gun, drill a small hole. This kind of helps screw in the screw eye hook if you pre-drill. Now I have some wood letters. I'm going to spell out the word list. You can pick any word of your choice. I'm going to paint that with some Wise Owl Smoky Quartz. And all paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. Once that was dry, I'm going to glue that down on the left side. I have some office clips. These are just plain metal. You can get these in many different designs and colors. They're on the smaller side, and I'm going to place two on the right side of the board, screwing in the one end into the board, just using a very small screw. And I place one on the top and the bottom. I have this roll of paper. It's like a receipt paper. It's two and a half inches wide. And I'm going to take a piece of jute and string it through the roll of the paper. And I'm going to tie that to the handle of my cutting board. And I'm just going to tie that a little loose but not hanging onto the metal. I will cut any extra jute that I have. And then I'm going to put the paper through the back side of the metal ribbon. Now you have a nice little place to write your list. And then when you pull up on the bottom metal, it tears the paper really nicely. I'm going to place a little inspirational quote on one of my clamps and then a picture on the other. At the top, I'm going to add a little bit of a raffia bow just to add a little detail to the top of the cutting board and then you can just cut the ends as short as you'd like and then there you go now we have this very easy list decor that would look nice in a kitchen i hope you enjoyed this video paint products tissue paper transfers and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com 
And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.